Hi. We're at Water, Water Week. Tell me who you are. Okay. I'm uh, Nick Dickinson from uh, IRC, the International Water and Sanitation Center. And uh, we're here uh, with uh, Siwi and with UCFO running the World Water Cube, which has been a whole lot of fun. Yeah. Tell me what you've been doing. So, a lot of different things. I mean, uh, we started out basically, uh, you know, with an idea of how can we how can we live in communication at the World Water Week and and Mark from UCFO, Mark Charmer and I, we've been thinking about video as well for a while. And we really thought it would be great to catch conversations going on at the World Water Week and try to get some different perspectives shared more widely so that all the conversations that are going on here can also be viewed from other places. So it's not just a closed shop. And uh, we also kind of want to get perspectives from from the field you know so what what is it that everybody's bringing from their various places and uh, and we IRC has also invited a journalist um, from Ghana Harriet Bentil and she's a senior environmental reporter from the from the Accra Daily Graphic and uh, yeah she's been going around writing reports but also doing flip camera interviews and uh, it's been great it's been a nice way to show people the power of uh, this low-cost video and uh, the, the uses it can be put to uh, either online or in presentations. So, yeah. How do you get people started talking? Well, usually what we do is we talk to them for a while. Um, I mean, just I, what I want to do is, is find out, you know, who someone is first, first of all, you know? So who, who are they, where are they from, what organization are they representing? What is it that they do in their daily work? Because usually there's something of interest in relation to that. And sometimes it's also nice to ask them, well, have there, are there particular things that they've picked up here uh, you know, in this sort of international exchange that would be uh, nice to talk about? So how, has it, how will it impact their, their work at home? So you know, if, you, if you can get those, those personal details, then I think that's where you get the most interesting interviews. And then you can always go further and ask more questions. So, so do you think uh, you're going to turn in your IRC hat and become a roving reporter? <laughs> well, I like re doing, I like reporting, and uh, at IRC I really enjoy what I'm doing as well. I mean, well, this is this is part of it. I mean, we have an innovative reporting theme, uh, or not reporting, innovative communication theme. So this this is just a part of it, and I would say this is version 0.1. I mean, ideally, in the end, you know, as a, as a reporter, I don't mind doing it, but I would want a system where there doesn't even need to be a reporter as an intermediate. I mean, really, what it, this is, it's about training other people. We've had participants doing interviews of other participants at the World Water Week. I mean, imagine a system where it was so simple that you could take, you know, your little laptop or camera into a, a village, into a council meeting, you know, somewhere else, show one of these videos or show a thematic video and then you can have people react to it immediately and have those reactions recorded on that video so the next time someone watches the video they see the reactions popping up as they're watching the video and they can click on them you know and and the beauty of this kind of technology is that it's not actually bound to a place or to a language or to a culture it can actually be applied in different contexts so that's kind of where I want to go and I think the water sector the sanitation sectors they can really make use of this. Great. Yeah. Thank you. So. All right.